Hey, welcome to the I Hate It Here and There's Hope podcast, a journey of self-discovery and liberation. I'm your host, Fernicia J. Now hop in and let's go. This bonus episode was inspired by TikTok, or as me and my best friend call it, TikTok. So, I have been using TikTok every day, and I'm not going to say how much time I spend on the app. There is shame. However, if you are familiar with TikTok, you know that every day there's a new challenge or trend. And this month, the trend is No Nuance November. This trend, created by user Abolish underscore Ice, went viral and folks all over the world hopped on it. So, what is No Nuance November? No Nuance November... Actually, let's make sure we're on the same page here. Nuance. What is that? According to Merriam-Webster... Nuance is a subtle distinction or variation. If you look a little further down, it also highlights sensibility to, awareness of, or ability to express delicate shadings as of meaning, feeling, or value. So, no nuance November is simple. Give your unsolicited hot takes each day. Provide no context And that's it. The point of this challenge or this trend is to start a dialogue and to get folks to think about their own opinions of the statements that you make. So those are the rules. And here's my 30 hot takes for No Nuance November. Everyone should be required to work in the retail or food industry at some point in their life. Student loan debt is a scam. Your favorite fast food restaurant is better outside the United States. High maintenance friends are toxic. Inviting white people to the cookout eliminates black safe spaces in home places. Standardized testing is racist. Men create most of their problems and resort to gaslighting and blaming misandry. Transracial adoption is problematic. Black Twitter is undefeated. You aren't ugly. You just grew up around a lot of white people. Mayonnaise is disgusting. Forgiveness is overrated. Black men in the 90s were a different kind of fine. 97% of my problems could be solved with money. The Chucky movies should have ended after Child's Play 3. Black women need to focus on self-preservation. Teaching young girls that boys who bully and assault them actually like them is toxic. Having to put black women or POC after my Google searches is exhausting. You don't get to choose how someone reacts to your disrespect. Discussion posts in grad school are a waste of time. Black folks who let their non-black friends use the N-word are trash. Healthcare is a human right and should be free. Unless they are deceased, you do marry your partner's family. Using the term blackfishing dismisses the impact of what it really is. <coughs> Blackface. <coughs> People who go out of their way to bash LGBTQ folks are projecting their own insecurities and hidden attractions. Roman's revenge is a forever bop. Wedding ceremonies are more about displaying social status and wealth than love. Black movements have been too inclusive hindering progress and liberation for the comfort of others. 
People who say, I don't see color, are willfully ignorant. If I ask you which house party film is your favorite, one, two, or three, and you mention a fourth movie, we can't be friends. So those were my 30 hot takes for No Nuance November. If you are interested in more hot takes, I would suggest you go over to TikTok or Twitter. The trend actually made its way to Twitter as well and search the hashtag No Nuance November. So to close out this bonus episode, I would really like to talk about um, my thought process during this, let's call it an exercise, during this exercise. I, I found it hard. It was really hard for me because a lot of these statements I did not want to make without nuance or context. And so in doing this trend, I really started to realize what the point of it was. And I guess that is to start the dialogue, as I said in the beginning. Um, So with that being said, if there was a statement that I made that resonated with you or that you would like to hear some more context or nuance, let me know. I'll put ways to get in contact with me in the show notes. So as I sit in being uncomfortable after this exercise, I also recognize that this is very exciting. We have a lot of unpacking to do. If you made it this far, thank you so much for listening. And until next time on the I Hate It Here and There's Hope podcast.